a yo bubbles welcome, welcome back to the patreon slash channel because this will be going up on the kdb tv channel we are here with our lost summer by txt documentary i am so freaking excited by the way if my voice sounds a bit raspy just don't mind it i celebrated my friend's birthday in chicago uh, like last night and yeah we were we went to a k-pop club and yeah i screamed the lyrics to like literally every single k-pop song it was <laughs> it was fun but like i lost my voice a little bit so yeah anyway i've been wanting to watch this documentary with you guys for a second now and i'm just so excited to be able to sit down with you and check it out when this got announced i was like oh my god i'm so excited by the way if you are watching on the youtube channel also if you are watching on patreon as well we will be watching nct 127 documentary as well basically like every single documentary that has come out on disney plus i have reacted to we did hobies we did uh shookas and now we're going to do txt and of course we'll be doing nct 127 as well it just so happens i stand everybody so you know i've been just enjoying the documentary process and i just yeah txt super excited um it says that this is like post pandemic and all that stuff so i'm just ready to see what this is going to be i got like my setup we're in the studio it's gonna be fun so without further ado let's just jump right into this let's go Oh, stop it right now. Of course you deserve to be there. Ruin the vibe, sir. No, no, no. They couldn't do a sound check that day? Ooh. Not the title card being all cinematic. Let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hive Dance Studio, June 25th, 2022. Imagination! I was <laughs> always my dream. I wanted to do it before. For real, it's about time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Come on, Terry, say it. Ah! Oh, I don't even know how they are able to do concerts because it's so fast paced at concerts. It's like back to back to back. Bro, I mean, they have some breaks here and there, but like, ugh. Mm. Now we. Why would okay, bump you stop, bro? The chaos has begun. Oh, my God, from China, quick so you go. There's a family case on the story. This is such an epic. So she gets so chung, um, chung to your sister. What am I didn't know? What would they manage? I'm song it. I want to go. No, it's not. Oh, oh, hello. Who are y'all? Wait, no, I saw some of them on tour. Hey, let's go. Chai Town. I was in this crowd. I was in this crowd. It was more. That's right. Oh my God. Damn, I went home straight after that. I did not stay for that. <laughs> I just have to say something real quick. Who is screaming like that? Oh my God. I mean, honestly, same. I just have to say it, okay? Listen here. On this night, <laughs> when we went, I enjoyed this concert. It was a birthday present for me. It was so fun. 
I met Renari, by the way, who was another content creator and another reactor. It was just like a fun overall overall experience. Met so many beautiful people who were so kind to me and enjoyed the show. The, the boys did amazing. It was fantastic. And I get online on Twitter and the whole fandom is trashing our stop. Like, I just was so confused. I really was. <laughs> I was so confused as to what information made them react that way. I don't even know what started it. It was just like somebody said somebody booed Terry and that was not what happened. And then they just like twisted it and made it seem like a big deal. And everybody ran with it because that's what people do on the Internet. When someone says something, they just take that as like truth face, you know, face value and run with it without checking the facts, without actually thinking for themselves and so it's just like a big huge deal and then like it kind of affected me which honestly it probably shouldn't have but I was kind of like offended because like genuinely everyone around me was having a good time and we had a good time and we respected the boys and so the fact that it was being made up that we like were disrespecting the boys was like so I was like what <laughs> so even hearing Young Jun talk about it and how like like oh like he felt the welcome there like truly we were cheering we did the, we did the chance like i just hate that energy like i hate that energy so i'm just really glad that the boys didn't feel that way like if it came down to it all that really matters for me is like what they think about the stop and 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 not only from this documentary so far but also they did a live stream afterwards Subin said that we were really respectful as well so that's all that matters. And eventually, I will say, eventually people came around and was like, okay, we apologize. We kind of took it out of a proportion or whatever. Just took it, took it out of context. And I was like, y'all just need to slow down. Calm down, y'all. <laughs> y'all be ready to just tear people down on the internet. Oh, my God. Anyway, I had a great time. I loved the concert. I loved it so much that I flew out to freaking L.A. to see them again. On to New York. Let's go. We all feel the same right now, just like the title of our debut album. Uh, we are really happy to have made our dream come Oh my god, they were babies! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay, hold on. I don't know, like, genuinely, if I saw them in person or any idol, I genuinely, not even joking, would pretend I didn't know them. <laughs> and some people are like, Caitlin, you're a reactor. They probably know who you are. You guys have no idea. There are tons of reaction channels out there, and I may have somewhat of a following. That doesn't mean that they watch me, but like, genuinely i would hide <laughs> i would not approach them i mean obviously i would want to respect you know i would want them to walk around without having to worry about someone coming up to them all the time though i know that they would love that but at the same time i just first of all i have social anxiety i, I couldn't do it but like i would literally just run away <laughs> I would run away like I could I can't oh my god oh my god I look so handsome hi why are we stopping the car oh that's right Bungi was oh no he had a oh role my in the God. band, you say, a specific role. Oh, I don't know. He's a little, like, signaling them that, like, something is wrong. Like, something is wrong. And you can see Subin, like, literally, like, holding his hand or doing something. I can't see because he's behind someone. But, like, you can see it all. Like, this is what we saw, like, on Twitter. They would post, they posted about this part where he walked off set and i think they did some updates on um reverse just letting everyone know that he's not feeling the best or something um but yeah it's just it just makes me so sad to see him not feel well like you know the atmosphere got so down all of a sudden hi <laughs> cutie atlanta <laughs> Oh, 
저희 회사 분들도 그렇고 멤버들도 그렇고 약간 좀 뭔가 멘붕이 막 오고 yeah. 되게 막 당황. I'm so glad that he has the staff though. You know what I mean? So nerve wracking watching this. <laughs> like I'm just like, oh my god. I can only imagine like being in this situation. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. If your body is telling you, hey, something is up, listen to your body. Don't push through that, you know? I'm gonna cry. I don't wanna cry. <laughs> 올라가니까 모아 분들이 또 반겨주시고 또 응원해 주시니까 그것으로 너무 감사하고 또 힘들었던 게 거짓말처럼 이렇게 사라지더라고. 어. 먹이요. 어디가 막. 아. 어. 아. <웃음> These two. I cannot. <웃음> 수빈이 형이 없었으면. 아마 이 팀에 데뷔를 못 했을 수도 있어요. <웃음> 그만큼 이제 수빈이 형이 저한테 정말로 소중한 <웃음> 줄 몰랐는데 가장 먼저 손 내밀어 준게 수빈이 형이었고 수빈이 형이 리더라서 너무 좋았어요. 리더가 되어줘서 너무 고맙고 자리 덕분에 조금 더 괜찮은 사람이 되지 않았나 저는 그렇게 생각합니다. 정말로 이런 느낌이에요. 어, <웃음> oh, stop it. <웃음> Show us. Chigun, Imone. Oh! We get to see him and his family. That was so long ago. Holy cow. Painter! I can see him as a painter. He's so excited. He's like, which way do I go? Now I'm running! Stop! Oh my god, did they know he's coming or is it like a surprise? <laughs> oh! <laughs> did they just literally just drop him off? They said, okay, bye bye. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm glad that he could just hang out with them. <laughs> He like what? <laughs> oh my god, he's kind of intimidating sometimes. Oh, I know he's like super soft, but like sometimes he'd be scared of me. <laughs> oh, 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 Nobody did it. I don't think anyone did it. Bro. Oh? Terry, they didn't mean to do it like that. Sir, you already worked so freaking hard. LA! <laughs> I can't. Oh, I've seen the photos that come from in this location. I really wanted to go to the beach when we were in LA last time, but it was raining a lot. Oh! <laughs> you don't have much free time. <laughs> oh my god! Why? Why? Sir! Oh, yeah, that's right. He was bleeding. Unikai was going so freaking hard that he started bleeding. Oh, my God. You can see Bumkyu notice it. Bumkyu was like, oh, my God. For real. Come on, Terry. Come on, Terry. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, come on, Hunikai. Get in, get in, get into that fitness era. Now Terry, <laughs> is Terry teaching him how to work out, bro? Cause stop playing. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Hey. 
그 전에 길들을 얼마나 잘 갈고 닦았냐로. Okay, sir. Being all wise. 끝났습니다. 아. 아직 롤라폴루자가 있지만 롤라폴루자 MVP baby 롤라폴루자 때 프로스트 때 이번에 쌍코피 흐르겠어 <웃음> Oh lord <웃음> 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 늦었는데, 영화 한편 빨리 볼게요. What movie are we gonna watch? <웃음> This man is not watching nothing. <웃음> Go to bed. Cheers, <웃음> is underway at Grand Park. Oh man. <웃음> oh, that's right. They didn't watch this yet. They didn't watch their set. I love when they interact with each other. <웃음> 네, 네. Oh. I'm so glad they were there for them. I'm so sad that they couldn't see his set because they had to leave as soon as Lollapalooza was done and Hobie was the next day, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Hobie was the next day. <laughs> Moas were really loud. Like they were really loud. That's very true. That's also true. Come on, Bubgu. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it right now. So <laughs> tall, tall, I'm so tall. 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 <laughs> Damn, he really is drenched though, for real. I don't get from Hambone. Can I make a Murat's drum? Cut the jummy jet, my dick up on that. The selfie! So, Lola Pulita, come now. Whatever, um, Tom, bro, the point. Stop! Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Don't. Uh -uh. That's right, baby. And they did, and they ate. <laughs> Oh, why are you crying? What the hell? Oh my god, they would have the nerve to suggest BTS permission to dance on stage in LA after that. Y'all think I can handle a lot, huh? Huh, Disney Plus? Huh, huh, huh? Well, that is the end of this documentary. It was so fun, it was so eye opening. I think. Like I like I, I was there when all of that happened. Like I was around when all of that happened and I could like remember when certain selfies got sent out or certain, you know, things were, you know, talked about on Twitter at the time. And so seeing a lot of the behind the scenes of everything was so fun for me. And getting to hear the boys' thoughts, you know, especially when they were going through some of like the biggest moments in their career, Lollapalooza being one of them. I just really enjoyed, you know, being able to like hear how they were doing um, throughout the whole thing. All of them have worked so incredibly hard to get to where they are right now. And so I'm just really happy that they were able to go and do the stadium tour that they did recently. And I was able to go see that one as well. So. It's just like, I'm just really proud of them. They're killing it. But that is going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Definitely leave your comments and thoughts down below. We'd we'll love to hear them. But on that note, that's going to be it for me. I will see y'all on the next one.